It's important to talk about sexual health because that's how we all got here. It's a natural part of life, and by talking about it in the context of a regular patient visit, it normalizes talking about sex. I definitely think sexual health in general is very stigmatized where we don't talk about it openly. Sexual health is an integral part of someone's general health and their well-being, um, so I'm not doing a thorough job if I don't ask those questions. The five Ps that are traditionally used as part of a comprehensive sexual history are partners, practices, past sexually transmitted infections, prevention of pregnancy, and prevention of sexually transmitted infections. Starting the conversation about sex with anyone, especially if it's a stranger or if it's a patient of yours that you've had for a long time, it can be really awkward. But I think the best way that I've approached it is with an open mind and non-judgmental kind of uh, questioning. So I think my best advice is go at it with a genuine curiosity and wanting to, you know, really give them the best care. It's going to feel awkward initially, you know, it's a sensitive topic, but I think the more you practice, the more you incorporate that into your daily practice, it often becomes habit and that's how habits develop. I think if we lead with care and love, we oftentimes it's, it's a little bit easier to talk about those things. You've got to do your own homework to check your biases before you enter into the encounter. And you've got to be in a space where you are comfortable with yourself so that you don't have a visceral reaction in front of the patient that creates this uncomfortable dynamic that creates a space where they, they shut down and they don't give you that information. Just having the brochures available and having the you know, vibrators sitting on a counter. Um, those things allowed patients to kind of bring up the conversation and, and say, I saw that what you have sitting out there and it's, okay, great, let's talk about them. And here's the brochure and these are all the choices we have and let's send you home with something, you know? So when you get a response that a, a person is so happy that you brought it up because they have needs, that will reinforce you. The National Coalition of Sexual Health and others have identified that these may not be comprehensive enough for all patient populations. And therefore, they've added a sixth P, which is being called PLUS, and within that are questions about pride, questions about problems with sexual functioning, and questions about pleasure. But I think, you know, it's important to talk about sexual health with your patients because we need to do it, and if we don't do it, who's going to do it? We need to normalize it.